Hello guys, welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts. Today we've got a uh, unboxing for you. Uh, we wanted to show you guys what we got for seeds. Technically unbagging because it's in a bag. <laughs> oh, we got seeds. Here we got some uh, sweetie tomatoes. What are you doing? There you go. Bradley tomatoes. I love tomatoes so much, though. That's why I circled the whole page for tomatoes. The Bradley tomatoes. Now all of our seeds in this package are coming from uh, MR, or sorry, MI Gardener. I'll put a link to their uh, site down below. It's right here. Popping up now. It's gonna be down below, you goofball. We just have some with this during dinner. Swiss chard. But we didn't have it Swiss. Yeah, we did. You had it Swiss. Swiss chard. We had that for dinner tonight. We actually just had some Swiss chard tonight. We haven't had it before, so we figured we'd try it. I didn't like it, though. I liked it. Um, wasn't a great hit, but there's also different ways to prepare it, so we could try it a different way next time. Yeah, we were trying new food last night. I like it. Mm. Yeah, Sunflowers. I'm thinking in and out so it's easy to My get. mom loves sunflowers. We got some lemon queen sunflowers. Lemon, a lemon sounds good. Mm. Cucumbers. Nope. Zucchini squash. Zucchini squash. Got some Just zucchini squash. Up. Been wanting to have this lately, and unfortunately, all the ones in the supermarket haven't been looking very well, so we haven't gotten those. So it'd be nice to grow our own. Easy squash. Straight neck squash or summer squash. So then we got some summer squash, which is this straight neck variety. Rhubarb, yummy! Oh my gosh, Kobe's backyard is like overflowing. Kobe. With rhubarb. We used to have some rhubarb, but unfortunately... He died. The, he the, ate it. He kept on eating it. One of the packed uh, plants that we had, the girls kept eating it, and they basically killed it because they picked too much of it, and they didn't have any foliage. The other thing is we had some out by the garden last year, and when my wife fenced off the garden, she didn't fence off the section with the rhubarb in it. So when we let the the uh, chickens free range, chickens destroyed the rhubarb plants. I told Mama too, but she did it. No. Sparkler wine tip radish. White tip. So sparkler white tip radishes. I've heard these ones with the white on the bottom are really good. I love radishes. I don't know how much the girls are going to like them, but because they don't really care for spicy foods. And radishes can have a little bit of a spice to them. But I think they're great eating raw. Just pluck them out of the garden, wipe them off, rinse them off, and eat them. Today we had something spicy for dinner, and I, my, my tongue was burning. Is your turn? Yeah. This is radish. And... Yep. It is French breakfast. Fren French breakfast. We got the French breakfast radishes as well. They're a little bit longer, and again with the the white on the bottom. I've heard a lot of other people talking about these, so I wanted to try them out. Wait, I want to hold these up so they can see what's the difference. There's a difference because of the shape, and also the different kinds. Cool. And 
then we got some sugar pumpkin. Mm, those, that sounds yeah, good. sugar pie pumpkins. Um, my wife likes to uh, make pumpkin pie, so no, nope, this is. Not. So we got pumpkin. Yolo wonder pepper, otherwise known as sweet pepper. Got some sweet peppers. I don't like any kind of pepper. It looks like a bell pepper. Oh. Now we have sun bright pepper, which is a yellow sweet pepper. And this is one of our last. This is just a normal goat. It is a pepper. It's another sweet pepper. And it's another sweet pepper. It's a green sweet pepper. So we got red, yellow, and green sweet peppers. Mm -hmm. And we, we have, still got more coming. We have tons of them. I think we're going to fill up the table. So we'll have to make um, many bows. Oop, this one's Izzy's. No, it isn't. Yeah, you just did the pepper. Oh. Lincoln pea. So we got some Lincoln peas. Izzy, you can go again. Because I looked at it first. Ambrosia. Ambrosia sweet corn. Let me see. I love corn. I love corn, guys. Got some ambrosia sweet corn. Last year we tried to do corn and we didn't do very well because um, the squirrels plucked it right out of the garden real quick. Plus watermelon. Um, there was bad. a black watermelon. Make sure to go see that video. <laughs> tired tonight. We had the same problem with the sunflowers. The, the squirrels ate all the seeds before they could sprout. True. We had one and now we have carrots. We have carrots last night today. We got carrots and these carrots are a rainbow blend so we'll have different colored carrots. So we're getting our whole dinner tonight. <laughs> Premium kale. Some kale. Looks good. Daddy, aren't we getting our whole dinner tonight? Kale <laughs> mm. cucumber. cucumber. Normal cucumber, I think. We got the market more cucumbers. There we go. We really did order quite a bit of seeds. Watermelon! The Dixie Queen watermelon. We love watermelon so Dixie Queen watermelon. Much. Izzy will eat watermelon for like two hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At mass, I eat two full watermelons. <laughs> Another watermelon. This is the oval watermelon. The Charleston Gray Watermelon. Then we got the Charleston Gray Watermelon, which is the big longer ones that you're probably more used to. So I'm going to now say the names and Izzy will say what kind they are. So this is a normal melon. It's a honeydew green flat flesh melon. So it's a uh, honeydew melons. Now those are just called melons. I don't know why though. Oh, there's the gift card. No, it's just their their card. There's I'll show it afterwards. Look at that one. Get it. These are just what yeah. Scarlet Manta's carrot. Just your regular old carrots. We have some in the fridge. Jeez, we still got quite a bit of seeds in here, guys. Yeah. Lettuce. It's lettuce. Butter crunch butterhead lettuce. <laughs> some butter crunch lettuce. It's a head style lettuce. All right, we're getting to the end of it, guys. It's three more packages. One of Odie's favorite vegetables. Broccoli! Did you guys know that he's actually the king of vegetables? He has the most protein, not protein, um, vitamin C in it. And something that the girls tried for the first time tonight, they weren't really big fans of them, but they're... Yeah, they're beef. Other one known as beetroot. We got the beets. 
I'm, I'm interested to try these. These are the ones that um, look like candy canes on the inside. So I'm hoping with the extra look, the kids might be more willing to try them. And I want to try the beet greens. I've never had beet greens either. So these are the beans. Last one is the top crop bean. Okay, so that's your pole bean style. There you go. And again, guys, all of these are come from uh, M.I. Gardener. There you go. Actually, easy. Go around and show the camera. There you go, the carrot one. One of the things I just noticed on them is on the back, they, they say to share it with a friend. And it says that if you go ahead and order from them, if you use the coupon code SHARE10, and I'll put this down in the link below as well, you can actually save yourselves 10% uh, on your order. All right, guys, so if you go to MI Gardener, save yourselves that 10%. Um, with SHARE10. With SHARE10. Actually, easy. Go around and show the camera. There you go, the carrot one. We have these two. So a tomato again, one and carrot. All of our seeds came from Mi Gardener. Um, been hearing good things about them, so we figured we'd try them out. Looks like we're going to have a pretty good garden if we can get this into the ground. We're, we're going to have to expand our garden area. Um, but I think we'll have a good, good garden. What do you think, Izzy? Yeah. He's <laughs> a real name. Yep, it's Emma oh Gardner. Gardner. So yeah, I think we're gonna have a pretty good garden, and we'll have to sort these all. What do you think? I think we're first gonna have to sort. All of the tomatoes, because we have a lot of tomatoes, we have two. and we'll have to sort a lot of these, because we have a lot of everything. everything, but there's special things that don't have too many, but we're going to have to expand our garden. Out of all this, what are you most excited for? This, and I'm really excited for this one, and this one. I'm excited for the tomatoes. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. So Izzy's mostly excited about the tomatoes. And Odie. And Odie couldn't make up her mind. She wants watermelon, watermelon, sweet corn, and pumpkin. Mostly this stuff. Broccoli. And broccoli. She really likes the broccoli. What are you doing sitting on a table? Huh? <laughs> broccoli. So now that I actually have all these. What I need to do is I need to sit down and come up with a plan for the garden. Um, I'm going to be looking at the back of the, the packages to figure out exactly when I can start my seeds so that we can ideally start what we can inside to extend our growing season. I'm planning on making some, uh, uh, some cold frames to go over my garden beds so I'll be able to harden off my uh, plants that way, bring them out, put them in the cold frame for a little while, bring them back in, um, and then we'll actually plant directly when we transplant them, when the ground is warm enough, I'll still keep that cold frame in that area until the um, plants get too tall or it gets warm enough that I no longer need the cold frame. Um, that's what I'm using all that glass for, guys. If you, if you remember that video, um, if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll go ahead and show Put a link to it up here for you, so you can go check that out. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, and share. And remember to eat your vegetables and fruit. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for joining us today, and have a great day. Bye. 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 Eat your carrots. <laughs>